Okay, this is uh, might be a little bit of a lengthy video, but I was going to show you how I figure angles. So this is a gear right here that I'm making. It don't look like a gear, but it is. And this is a cross section of it. So I've already got a board, but if you look right here, I've got to machine a pocket for a set screw right here. And it's saying that that's 35 degree angle that that set screw has to go in there. So this is a fairly small part. You think, you know, how am I going to get this angle? So what I did, I've got a 5C collet block, which is this right here. And this is my gear stock. Now, I've already got my center hole board right here. So I got to come in at a 35 degree angle like this. So I can put a set screw in here. There you go. And catch this shaft. So you think, how in the world am I going to do that? So what I got to do, since I've got this in the angle block, I'm going to set this at a 35 degree angle. And then bring a mill cutter in and mill it, then drill it and tap it. So the best way to do it, you can use protractors and different things. But the, the I find the easiest way to do it is with a set of gauge blocks and a sign bar. That's S-I-N-E. So this is a sign bar. It's a five, five inch, which, which is an industry standard. That's a five inch sign bar. And it's five inches from center here to the center of there. So I got a calculator on my phone. It's called a sign bar calculator. And you put in the number of degrees that you want the angle to be. And then it will tell you, these are precision gauge blocks. It will tell you what combination of these blocks to stack so that you can get in my case 35 degrees so let me just show you now I've already got it figured out here so I put in 35 degrees this is what I need 2.0 650 thousandths 117 thousandths 109 ten thousandths they stack all those together so I'll show you pull them out here's a two so that's a two and the ends of them are highly polished look at that and they will actually what they call ring together or stick together so you don't want to touch those sides so I need a two then I need a 650. So this 65 right here is a 650. I need that one. I need a 117. Which is this guy right here. 117. And then I need a 1009. 1009. Look at the polish on that. Now, let me set this up here. Give me a second, and I'll be right back with you. All right. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this. I'm, I'm doing this on the phone. I don't have a proper tripod or none of that stuff. But here's the two. We're going to start with the two. The first thing I do, you get a lint-free cloth. You want to wipe this. This is your polished edge, as you can see. That has got to be clean, I mean, with like no dust and no fingerprint oils or anything. Then we're going to take our next one. We're going to do the same with that. We're going to do that on both sides. We're going to clean that up real nice. Now, without touching it, you can slide these 
or ring what they call ring them together. I didn't ring. There we go. Look at that. It's like it's stuck together. It's not a magnet, but they are such a fine polish that what you're basically doing is you're squashing all the air out of that and there is zero gap and they, they'll stick together. So then we're going to come in here with our Let's see what we got next. Our uh, 117. We're going to clean both sides of it. And we're going to slide this dude on. 117. So I'm building a stack. Then our 1009, we'll go on top. You always want to come in from the side. You see that? There we go. I see they're all stuck together. But, here's the cool part. When you stand that there, And you stand that there. That sign bar is exactly 35 degrees. So then what you can do, I've got this set up over here on my vise. I will set this down between the jaws of my vise. This will rest right there. So it's being held at 35 degrees and then I'll clamp it. And uh, then when I come back, I'll show you the results of that. So there's my stack between my vice jaws. There's my sign bar standing down in there. So what I will do, it's going to take two hands to do it. And I don't have a way to set my phone up anywhere. But um, I'm going to lay that collet block on this sign bar and then clamp that vise down and then I'll pull all the sign bar material out and it'll be held at 35 degrees then I can figure out and do my milling operation so I'll be right back okay so I got him clamped in and what I should be able to do slide out my gauge blocks slide out my sign bar these over here and now that is being held to 35 degrees then I can bring my cutter down center it up on here on this hoe set my depth on how far in so I don't come out the back side of where that hole needs to be and I can machine a 35 degree pocket right there then I'll come in with a drill and a tap and drill and tap that for a set screw at that point this will come out of the collet go back into the lathe and I'll face that gear off and that gear will be done so that's how I set up angles. Now you can check it with a protractor if you want to. Um, you know, that's fine. But that's the quickest and easiest way for me. And that is one way, probably the most common way, of how to use a set of gauge blocks. There's some machine that say, oh, I've never used gauge blocks. And you don't have to. You can use a protractor. But here's the problem with a protractor. You can imagine trying to hold a protractor and get it just right. Trying to hold this against the protractor while you're tightening the vise and doing all that. Set your sign bars up. Set up your gauge blocks, a sign bar. Just set this on it. And then you can tighten it. Just freeze up your hands. Let's 
So that's it.